right, welcome back. We're going to add some clouds around here to, again, create this kind of neat look. And so again, File, uh, Place Embedded, and in here you should say Clouds for Peer. Okay, so we're going to grab this one here, just double click it. And um, what we're going to do is just sort of reduce the opacity so I can kind of see it. And I'm just going to line it up, make it a little bit smaller. Let me just zoom out a bit here. Uh, a little bit smaller. I want sort of that cloud to sort of billow around it. So I just want to make sure I got clouds everywhere. A little bit at the end there. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Place it. And I'm going to put it back to 100%. And then what I'm going to do actually is mask all of this out. So I'm just going to grab my mask here, put it on. It's all white at the moment. Like we've done before, we're going to fill it all with black. And so I think uh, Alt Backspace, we just filled it all with black. Now what we're going to do is bring back the cloud. So I'm going to grab my brush, set it to soft, okay? Opacity is 100%, and uh, set it to white. Now, little trick there, click off here, is if you press X, it will actually swap between these. So you don't actually have to click on this. So we want white because we're trying to get rid of the mask and bring back the clouds. Okay. And don't worry if you get some blue sky there. We'll fix that up. Uh, I'm going to make, the, I'm going to reduce that after. So, and just sort of looking, I think I need to pull this up first. So I'm going to grab back onto my move tool. I just don't want to have blue. I want to have blue right to the edge there. Okay. Something like that. Okay, uh, just let me go back to the brush. We'll bring in a little bit more there, a little bit more there. I'm going to grab, change the color. So I'm just going to put X, uh, and I'm going to get rid of some here. Okay, that's not too bad. Now there is a little bit of blue here, and you can't get right to the edge, right? So what I'm going to do is just go to the opacity here, drop it down to about 30%. And that gives you a bit more control. I'm going to make my brush a bit smaller. And it can just sort of blend. So what I'm doing is quick little strokes. Okay, this might be a little bit too much here. Just going to pull that back. And again here. And so what I'm trying to do is just bring it down, but not create a harsh, harsh edge on it. And so that looks pretty good. You've got this sort of idea of it floating in the clouds here. Uh, if you want to add a bit more, I'm just thinking maybe along here, just sort of pull away that, that hard edge of the pier itself. And again, X. And again, it's sort of your, a bit more of your, um, you know, what you desire there. But I think that gives a pretty good idea. Just going to get rid of that. There we go. So as we continue here, I just sort of felt after looking at this a little bit that I'm going to add a little bit more of the uh, clouds back here. So I'm just going to make sure I'm on white and just billow them a little bit more over here. There. But it's up to you. Just like a little bit more cloud. Okay. So what we're going to do next is um, bring in the sailboat. The sailboat's going to sit about here. So again, I'm going to embed that. So file, place embedded. There is the sailboat. And it puts it right there. We're not going to resize it. We're just going to move it. Sure, I'll just move it over a little bit. And it doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll fix that up in the end. Now I'm going to show you a different way of um, masking without masking here. So, so it's up here, layer, layer style, and then blending options. And it brings up this menu here. And it's kind of, let me just get this so I can see it over here. Um, down here, blend if gray. So this is obviously gray. Uh, and then you can choose the, how gray it should be. And you just basically grab this little guy and you bring it over. And you can see the gray magically disappear. It's kind of cool. Okay, so if you do it nice and slow. And again, with experimentation, I found about 130 seems to work good. For this one, so maybe 130, 130, somewhere around there. And then what you can actually do is split this thing up. It's actually two pieces. It's a little hard to see there, but it's actually two pieces. So if you hold the Alt key and grab the right side, you can actually pull this up. 
and it kind of brings it back and what it does is go up to what 170 there what it does is it creates a bit of a, a, a you know gradient there so basically each pixel has a certain degree of brightness to it uh, you can think of that from 0 to 255 okay eight bit, uh, one bit sorry eight bits one byte um, and then this here they're all gone and then here there's a bit of a transition it just makes it look a little bit better and that's all you have to do okay so you can go okay now there's still this little bit around here so I'm just going to click on a layer mask make sure I'm on black I can press X uh, go back to my brush make sure let's get that opacity back to 100% because we just want to get rid of it make a hard brush sure and just go around and uh, remove that and actually yeah, let's remove that and if there's any lines around here I don't think there is but that looks pretty good okay so now you have this boat and then you can just click and resize it if you need to or replace it so I'm just gonna bring it a little bit over here something like that okay so you can fiddle with that and uh, make it a little smaller if you think it's too big looking which I do at the moment but it's sort of up to you okay and you can just sort of play around there good we'll end this video here and add a few more elements uh, in a, on the next one see you then